guys hear that? They're doing a live artillery off the August game. Feeling a little defeated after the trying to get the sales up debacle. I feel better now that I'm cute. I love it! Oh my gosh, we're watching SpaceX. Praying and crossing our fingers that our water maker work. I'm taking us in. Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds. And we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming. We'll keep running. Nothing in our way. We got what it takes. Here we go. Fun time! What does that mean? It means they're going to be shooting live rounds at us. So... <laughs> Far from right. course! Alright, that wasn't in the book. Might have expected that coming off of Mayport, but... So how, how was that coming out of that inlet? That was rough, man. Rough, rough, rough. Like, not prepared for that. We should have anticipated that. Our fault. Once we were out in the Atlantic, heading south, we attempted to put up the sails. The waves were five to six foot on our beam. I struggled turning us into the wind and keeping his head to wind while Rob attempted to raise the main. The waves were just tossing us back and forth. Davis was down below yelling at us that he was scared and he didn't like this. Every time we'd raise the main, one of the battens would get caught in the lazy jacks. Rob and I were screaming at each other, and after a few minutes, we decided it just wasn't worth the stress. I turned the boat to head south, and the boat calmed as the waves were now coming from behind. This was a very defeating moment, but knew this decision was best for everyone aboard. We just got to the mouth of the Atlantic and we should have anticipated it was going to be rough, but here's the inside state of the, the house. All right, here's the Atlantic. All right, it is five o'clock feeling a little defeated after the trying to get the sails up debacle. I think it just was all frightening for Davis and like, so Rob just wants to motor tonight um, since we don't have a down one sail, um, whatever. It is what it is. I am going to go downstairs with Davis and kind of snuggle because he's not feeling great and he's nervous and scared after all that. So. I'm gonna go rest for about an hour or two, uh, Rob will, we're gonna do one of our, my make ahead meals. So tonight we're gonna do broccoli chicken alfredo. So all we have to do is boil water and throw this in. Um, and so I'm gonna go down with him for about an hour or maybe two, get a little bit of rest, and then I'll be on shift from nine till two, and then Rob will do from two until, I guess, whenever I get up. Somebody fell asleep with his phone in his hand. At least he's feeling a little bit better and he's getting some rest. Okay guys, it is... Uh... 818 at night and um we're rocking 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 um and uh mom here she's uh pretty cold so i gave her my blanket she's warming up right now so um yeah here she is i don't feel very good yeah she doesn't feel very good i have good. on my jacket I mean, it's, what is the temperature over there? It's like less than 50. 66. Shut up. 66. It is not 66. 66. I have on my jacket. Here. I have on two pair of pants. I'm going to that, but. I have a down comforter and I have Davis's blanket. Look, it's 67 right now. And I am still cold. Yeah. I'm supposed to do the 9 to 2 shift, but. I don't feel seasick, like I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm just. I feel that. I don't feel great. Yeah, me either. 
You okay, honey? I went below and got some rest, and at about 2 o'clock in the morning, I tried to come up and relieve Rob. Not feeling so well. I feel better now that I feel I felt better. I think it's just like the beginning of the trip. Sick. We've got following seas, so I don't know if it's the boat rocking back and forth or... I think I was getting sick earlier because I was so cold. It was. It's still cold. Outside. Well, no, like I was really, really cold and then I woke up hot and then... Uh, yeah. Well, good. hopefully it's ball behind you now. And Better. We finally found the Zola, the Zola, the Zofran. If we found that hours ago, it would have been a lot better, huh? Right, but I put it somewhere and I don't remember where I put it. And I remember there's some in the emergency bag and that's easy to grab. So Rob just gave me one tablet of that. So hopefully I'll feel better in the next like two to four hours. All right, good morning. It is day two of our trip down to Fort Lauderdale. There were some uh, sick people on board last night, so I banned the helm until about 4 o'clock, 4.30 this morning, and Shannon felt good enough to come relieve me for a little while. I was able to get a little bit of rest. Um, back up here again, we're going to go ahead and keep trudging away. We've got probably five six foot rollers um but it's not bad huh oh it's horrible for me it's horrible for you huh oh my gosh but you'll get used to it okay and i'll try to but we're just out here the uh cape canaveral is right out here it looks like they've got two rockets set up ready to go Hopefully, I don't think I don't think they're going this week though. So we don't get to we don't get to see the show from out here. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna get over past here and uh, around. I think once we round the Cape, I start heading a little bit more southwest along the coast. It should ease up on us a little bit. Um, that's actually going to put us in a little bit better wind angle, maybe. Um, I do know the wind is supposed to clock around to that, uh, to the southeast, though. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But hopefully we can maybe get some sails out at the second part of this trip. Because right now we're dead, dead downwind. And, of course, like you guys know, I don't have the sail uh, rigged up ready to go. Where are we at? We're at Cape Canaveral. All right. Is that halfway there? All the way there? What do you think? Okay, three fourths. I mean, we are at Cape Canaveral this morning when Rob took back over from me. So it's slow, slow going. Slow boat to China. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, I'm kind of liking it. Are you? Kinda. I think you're gonna love this. Well, not only does it have Wi-Fi. <laughs> I need to download some movies. We got movies. We got the Plex. I... So this morning I was at the helm and I saw the biggest turtle I've ever seen in my life. I looked down and he just like went swimming beside me and lifted his head out of the water like, Hey, how you doing? And then kept on swimming. Aww. And then we saw dolphins. We see dolphins? Yep. Hey, how do you like that vest, buddy? Actually pretty nice. Yeah? Is it comfortable? Actually... It really is. Cool. Very thankful he likes to wear his life vest. You even came up to helm last night for an hour with Dad? He came up with, yeah, he hung out with me up there. He took care of me for an hour, and then he's like, all right, I I'm took, going. Actually, I took care of both of them last night because they were both like. It was a was long, cold. long Mom day. Mom was sick and cold. And I took care of both of them. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. 
the only one not sick, but I started to get sick this morning because I didn't eat. I wasn't sick. I was just exhausted. No, I, I, I tell you, I think this magnetic band, this, um, whatever. What is it called? Hey, I was supposed to wear that. That is called it. The relief band is working. Yeah? It's helping. It's helping a lot? I think it's helping. I'm not, I don't feel sick sitting right here. Good. Well, we are, as you can, I can take you out here and show you. It's going to be loud because it's the, right there is Cape Canaveral. And then down here is the Air Force part of the base. So we're rounding the horn of Cape Canaveral and then we're going to be headed towards West Palm at that point. So, and then another flip and then we'll be at just catamarans in Fort Lauderdale. Our family has subscribed to Passage Making 101. Lesson one, how to take naps every single hour of every single day. So tonight we're having, I didn't feel good last night. It wasn't a good night, it was just really rough. So tonight we're having our first passage meal um, that I prepped over at my mom's. Broccoli chicken Alfredo tonight. Passage meals. So here's that. Pre-packaged, all you gotta do is put it in boiling water. Yep. So that's really good, especially when it's rough. The, the sea states have died down quite a bit, so it's much better today. I feel much better today. I feel good. I just took he a shower. You never get sick. I don't get sick. I was, last night was something awful, but today's better. It's been a beautiful day. It's been, actually, it's been a really good day. I got the, I put the fishing uh, line together. I got so the he put his new fishing line together for the reel I gave him two years ago for yep, a birthday Christmas, or something. Yeah. So I got that in the water now. Well, not the reel, you know what I mean. But uh, we are uh, fishing right now, but hopefully maybe catch something. I don't know. I got a cedar plug on that one. I've got a, a little trail mix going on and uh, oh, some other on there's not enough wind so we got to go take care of our sail because the wind looked like it just died down yep. we'll be back Two thumbs way, way up. No, no, we're doing one through ten. Oh, ten. Ten. Yes. I like it. I think it's like an eight and a half to nine out of ten. Look at that. Clean plate club, man. And then he finished mine. I would say maybe a, a six and a half. Six and a half. Because I don't like the chicken, but I'll eat the broccoli. Okay. All right, we'll take it. So broccoli chicken alfredos. We'll be remaking. We'll be repackaging more of these. Yep. Ending today, two. Time to start a night shifts. Look, Davis, dolphins. Davis. Holy moly. Reach out and touch them. No kidding. Oh, oh, oh. Hey guys. Hey guys. What's up? This is so cool, guys. Thanks for the after dinner entertainment. Wow. Whoa. I just want to reach out and pet them.
Davis, how was that? I love it. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Yeah. Nice yeah, after dinner yeah. entertainment. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? That how was. was that? Isn't that Have amazing? you ever seen dolphins like that? No, I've never seen dolphins in front of, in front of any boats that we've owned. We've, we've seen a few of them in no. the inlet. Yeah. Uh, Maybe oh. we're smaller. Not like that, though. Other yeah. than SeaWorld. Yeah, I mean, that. Was amazing? That was amazing, yes. I have, well, no, so when. Guess what? What? We'll get to see that a lot. Well, no, so look. So I, so when we were on passage to maybe the Bahamas or something, I never saw that. So maybe y'all have, but I haven't. Well, you have now. Yeah. That's the first of many times too. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Look at that. I have lived in Florida my entire life and I have never witnessed a space launch. Two things in one day. Yeah. Two. Dolphins and a SpaceX launch. This has been a pretty incredible day. <laughs> this, I think, makes up for the past five months of stress and frustration. I mean, guys, look at this. Like, I don't think y'all can see right now, but we're seeing a ton of stars. So, if you're ever in the ocean, and y'all don't know this, but there's going to be a ton of stars, like five nautical miles away from uh, land, you're, you'll see a ton of stars. It is so cool. You're my age. It's, it's, it's incredible. All right. It is the beginning of our third day on this passage. Uh, I've got the dawn breaking behind the camera here. Um, you're facing towards shore. Uh, we are off the coast of Hobie Sound. We're just past Port St. Lucie. Um, we're going to be hitting West Palm Beach in about three to four hours. And then when we hit West Palm, we're going to turn a little bit further uh, towards the southeast which will bring us still along the coast until we get to Fort Lauderdale. But I wanted to show you this here. I'm gonna turn the light off because it's glaring against the, the helm enclosure here. But I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna turn you around. Dawn is breaking on day three. It is day three. Day three. Where are we? Off of West Palm? Palm. We just made the turn to get close to shore, so we're out of the uh, Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream, and hopefully we will be at Just Cats later this afternoon. So what we're doing this morning now, we're praying and crossing our fingers that our water maker works. So Rob just turned on the generator. This is the first time that we have turned it on and tried to make water because we're out in beautiful water, out of that nasty tannins from the river water. So cross our fingers that. Works. So, I am uh, technically we just push a button and it starts. If you look right here, and if that light comes on, and that means we have potable water, if this light comes on, it needs service, and we'll have to tackle that. Come here, hold it. How long do we know if it works? I'm gonna go down and check on it. So, but if this comes on, we don't want that. We want that to come on. All right. Oh, oh! No. Are we making water? Really? Yeah. Oh, it seemed a little too easy. Oh, that would be so amazing. Oh, that would be so amazing. Because we were praying that, just praying that this thing works. <coughs> Otherwise, if it didn't, while we were in Fort Lauderdale, we were going to have to pick up another 
water wiper, which is not cheap. So this would be a big blessing. Is it making water? What's the verdict? Water is coming out! Woohoo! Hey! Ow! I cycled it again and it looks like it's working. I'm going to go check and see. It was divert. It was diverting to the sea, but now it's di the UV light came on and it says it's pumping into the, into the tank, so I'm going to go check it. All right. I hear it. It's, com it's coming out of right here. Fresh water. Yay! <laughs> Woo, that was scary. We need to put some uh, drops, some drops in there, but yeah, fresh water. Thank you, Lord. Praise God, we got something that works. Right, um, there is a problem. It is making water. It is diverting water into the tank. Um, it's just the, the TDS, the total dissolved solids are a little high. Um, they're registered at like 750. So that's probably something to do with the membrane. Um, so we're going to have to have someone actually look at that. Um, but the water maker is working. That's the important part. The big important part is that so it's So maybe working. we just need a $1,200 membrane. Possibly, yes. <laughs> so cross your fingers, guys. It's only $1,200 and not more than that. Taking us in. And we've made it to Fort Lauderdale. been bringing Sailing Paradise Falls to just cats in Fort Lauderdale. Didn't think this was going to happen. No. The last time we came in this inlet, it was pouring down raining. Which is when we brought the kids back from the Bahamas on the monohull. Yep. <laughs> and props to Rob, who's had to move the boat over. So we're against the seawall over here so they can get this giant ship out of here. Well, that was fun. You did awesome. Thank you. And we've made it to Harbortown Marina.